So this video is on uh, all of infamous <clears throat> Gen 2, Gen 2.5 Fulcrum Ball. Uh, I'm gonna try to tackle the Fulcrum Ball. Fulcrum Ball. I've seen a lot of posts on the on the forums and stuff, but I haven't seen videos on it, so I might as well create a video to help someone out. You know, if anyone's gonna tackle this. So uh, the first step to it is uh, pretty much taking this cover off. Uh, which you just pry it up. I mean, you can just hold the sides and uh, like get your hand under there and then just push it up. And really, while you have this, just pry the other side up and it should just pop right out. It's held in by these, by these little clips or tabs, I want to say. It goes right in here. All right, so after removing the trim piece, uh, what you're gonna do is there's a screw here and on the other side, which is for this piece. So this is gonna come out in two pieces, from here to here is one piece, and then this center console is another piece. So there's two screws for that, one there, one there, and then there's two here, and then two down there. Um, should pretty much be all, um, uh, what is it, uh, Phillips, and then you, you take this trim piece off, you just pry it open with a screwdriver, or a flathead, or a, what is it, uh, a trim clip, or whatever, and then, uh, so this one needs to come off too, so the cup holder is held in by these two screws, and if you pull it out, I was having a little hard time with it. I didn't want to pull it out and break it. So you pull it out uh, and just give it a small little tug and it should just come out uh, like so. And, and also make sure to unscrew this. Uh, just turn it and it should just turn it and it should just come off. Uh, yep, and it should just come off. For this one, I believe when we lift it up, this metal part's gonna stay there and that wood trim is gonna, it's the one that's gonna come out. All right, so there's two more screws, which I found out after pulling at it for about like uh, 15 minutes, you know. Uh, hopefully I didn't break it, I didn't break it. There's two more screws inside here. That one right there still on there and then the one right there which i just showed earlier so you just it just needs to be a long one um pretty long because uh this is what i was working with and i just used a magnet to get the other one out the other ones um there and then you just kind of pry this one open i'm gonna take my light back and then you see so you just pull it off and then just pry it back so after you pry it open uh there's Two plugs on there that you need to disconnect. One is for the seat warmers. The other one's for this empty, this empty slot right here, which is you just uh, you just put a you just put a flat head in there and you just pick it out, um, pull it out. This one goes to the heater, seat warmer. There's an extra wire running to the empty one. Running to this uh, switch slot, but I'm just gonna leave it open and just uh, immerse myself in this 20 year old disgusting crap pencil. There's like pills on there. Hopefully, Molly is still good. Um, but uh, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, yeah. Alright. Then, if I remember correctly, next, if when, you, when you're gonna take this off, if you wanna take that off, you gotta first take off the screw, which is just, uh, just one Phillips head right there, or the star right there in the middle that's attached to that after you take off the back one. And then just put it in five, or neutral, or whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. Um, and just pry it up, I think. The locker, if some of your car has it, I think mine broke out, so I just kind of pushed it in. Or I have no idea what happened to that one, so I just, just kind of pushed it in. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, I just kind of pushed it in, and it just popped out. 
But uh, if you guys, if you guys aren't, if it's not broken for you guys, you can just take off the clip on the back, and same for the for the cigarette lighter. Then after you pry it open, you're gonna notice these wires, and one of them is still attached. They're still attached to it, so there's three um, clips that you gotta undo. So one over here, one over here. Um, this one's pretty much easy, but this one's pretty much this one's a hard one because it's. If, it, if yours is that close to it, it's gonna be hard. So all you do is just, there's like a little hook right there. You just pull it open. All right, let me see if I can get it. Yeah, so it kinda, the wire goes in through here. So you pretty much wanna slide it out and then just push it up so it kinda pops out. But yeah, um. And then we're, I think, I think we're on the last stride over here. Uh, pretty much taking off the screws and stuff, but uh, let's see how to do it. Uh, how to do the next ones uh, after I clean up this mess. I don't think I've still cleaned up the bad ones.